Hey guys and welcome to this uh, mini tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you just some introduction to Melt scripting here in Maya. There's many different functions you can do inside of Maya and every one of them can be accessed by Mel. Mel is nothing to be scared about and a lot of artists that I know don't want to, uh, to get their hands dirty with it but I'm, I'm going to assure you it's, it's pretty easy once you wrap your, your head around it and you've got a good start and you'll be able to be surprised at how many things you can do with it and how much quicker it can make your life. Now, first up with with Mel, there's a different ways you can access uh, putting in Mel commands. First of all, at the bottom of your screen, you have the Mel uh, command window, and here you can type in things like uh, uh, we'll go to polyplane, and you can see instantly I've just got a polyplane created in my in my scene. Now, of course, you can have a button up here that does the same thing, but this just shows you that anything you can do inside of Maya can be accessed by Mel. Now we can access uh, the Mel script window by down here in the bottom right hand corner is your script editor. Um, because I use it more often, I actually have it uh, bound to hotkey. So we just bring it up. Now the script editor is based in two parts. You have the top part, which is the listener. And this is where all your anything that has happened will come up here. But anything you want to type, any of your scripts that you're going to create, you'll put in this bottom section here. So you, know, you can put down. So with our only with our plane selected. If I put in move dash r um, zero space five space zero semicolon and we run it, what you'll see is my plane will jump in the air. Now don't worry too much about what we're doing right now, but you'll see that there's different functions we can do. We can do anything we can in Maya. Now the great thing with the listener is just by moving something or doing an action inside of Maya, it actually will feed out the script of what you just did into the listener. So here we can see that my move command of moving it just down has produced this. You can copy this straight in and put it down the bottom section and run it, and you'll see it'll actually do the same thing. Now the way you run your script is you actually use the enter on the right hand side of your keyboard, so right where the number pad is. If you use the other enter, it doesn't work. The, en the main enter on your keyboard is just for going to the next line. But uh, the enter on the right will actually run your script. Now, the next thing I want to tell you about uh, Mel, which is the most handy thing you'll ever get, is your help file. Now, you can come here to help, and you can scroll down to Mel command reference. Okay, this one is an absolute gold mine. Now, I've got it open up here already and this is what you'll see straight away uh, you can type in here your, any string you like so if I want to type in that move command which you just saw before we just select it over here and it'll give you a list of all different attributes to the move command different tags you can put on like you'll see I put the dash r which tells you it's relative so this is a really really useful tool never be afraid to come in here and have a look and see uh, what what a function can do or even just have a browse for functions that you may be interested in looking into like if you're looking at lights or cameras or, or polygons there may be a function there that you hadn't thought of and you can use that to your advantage so that's just a really good introduction to to Mel and where we can find it and in the next video we're going to actually start getting into some scripts that we can actually do something useful with anyway thanks for listening